here or a lot here. There we go. Okay. Welcome to Wednesday Night Live. As always, I'm not super duper prepared. So for those who like things really, really prepared, this may not be the video for you. <laughs> Anyways, and also guys, this is a live video. The whole point of this is so I can chit chat with my friends. And if you just like straight up tutorials, this is not the video for you. So let me get it pulled up on my computer. <laughs> Did I bring gloves? Nope. I still have the just like extra large gloves that I bought, brought somehow instead of medium. Is anyone else having a playback error on their video mine saying an error occurred please try again on my playback that's weird hey nate you guys can all see the video okay well that sucks though because i can't see what you guys can see so hold on let me just try one more thing here all right while i'm doing this um exciting news so my album is coming out on Friday. Dang it, I really can't see it. Um, however, if any of you are impatient like I am, so it'll be on, on Friday night, midnight or whatever, it'll be released on Amazon, iTunes, etc. Um, here, I'll put the link for that. This is really annoying. I don't know why I can't pull it up on my computer. So here's that. Hey, blue and random. It's a blank screen with me talking, right? That's what I see too. That's so weird. Some people can see it and some people can't. YouTube must be having a glitch. I'm so sorry about that. Anyways, but long story short, for those who are impatient, like me, <laughs> um, you can uh, get the album right now on Bandcamp. So there it is, okay. So it looks like, I don't know, 80% can see this and maybe, or 90% can see it and 10% can't. I cannot. Let me see. I'm going to click on learn more. Hopefully I don't have to restart the stream because I know that's always a pain in the butt. Troubleshoot internet and device. Hmm. Nope. I don't think any of those are helpful. You see a hand? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. Well, then I'm going to try to just leave the canvas there. I'm going to probably periodically keep refreshing and hope to get it. But I'm just going to leave this. I'm going to tilt a little bit. Leave this here because I know that's in the screen. It is a blank canvas. Yes, that is correct. So for anyone who can't see it, I'm very sorry. I'm blaming YouTube. I can't see it either. So anyways, here we go. Let's have some fun. I have an idea for a technique I'm gonna do on here. This isn't going to be a super long video, but please feel free to shoot me any questions y'all have. Um, also, uh, tonight I would normally be doing an art auction, but it was a little bit of an insane last few weeks. So I'm definitely not prepared. I'm using some leftover paint, by the way. So, um, the auction will be next Wednesday, okay? All right, let me think. I had a plan. I'm trying to kind of replicate an earlier, yes, any questions, Brian, I can't guarantee I'll ask, I'll answer, but any questions. Um, I'm trying to replicate an earlier painting I had done, but I can't really remember the technique I used, so this is going to be a fun guess. All right, Liz said, how do you know what size canvas to use? Um, do you mean like what, how much paint to use on the different canvas sizes? Is that what you mean? Because how to, what size canvas to use is just whatever you feel like using. There's not particularly any rules. Okay. And just keep in mind, I don't know what you guys can see. So, this will be fun. You'll just have to listen to me describe it with my voice. 
So this is some meadow green. I really liked the colors that I used today. Let me put this here. This is um, primary blue. Gotta get this lime green in here. The size that is on sale, that is a good answer. Okay, that lime green gives it this pop. Okay. This, this size, by the way, is a 10 by 20. Okay. This is some deep sea, which is a baby blue. It's about empty though, so I'm just gonna set it there. And same thing with this teal. You can tell which colors I like the most. Those are definitely the empty ones. Time to replenish. Oh, I need gold. Of course I need gold. How is everyone doing this week? How's it going? Is everyone having a good week? A rough week? An excellent week? Ooh, I have silver. <laughs> oh, silver. Okay, I'm gonna do silver instead of gold. Ah, that's scary. <laughs> Yay, Brandy. Okay, silver. So the original pour that I did was actually just black, white, and silver. This is gonna have colors. I'm having a pretty good week. Definitely, definitely tired. Um, I'm going to be taking like a really small vacation in a couple weeks, so I'm pretty excited. All right, I can't even see what I'm pouring in this cup. <laughs> Because it's far away from me, so it's in the camera, but I don't want to move it. Yeah, a little bit of purple in there. Also pretty empty. Because I use a lot of that. Oh, wow, Rick. <laughs> I'm afraid to say where I'm going because everyone always wants to meet up. But actually, I would love to do a little meet up if possible. I'm going to Florida, Tina. I've been, I was going to, to call you, <laughs> um, but I'm going to Florida for a few days to the Tampa area. I have a lot of friends there and staying at a, a friend's house and he's gonna, we're gonna talk business and all kinds of fun stuff. Oops, I need some silver. Okay, cool. So no clue how this is gonna come out. But it's going to be fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the plan, Tina. Hopefully. And now that things are opening back up, not like totally going to, but going to get back into doing hopefully a little bit more travel and also back into doing some live classes later in the year. And Florida is definitely on my list for that. Uh, also like Northeast area, like New York area, not exactly sure where. Um, and then Texas, definitely. And then probably, definitely like SoCal and also maybe Oregon or Washington. So those are kind of the list. And who knows, maybe like Midwest at some point. All right, I have no idea what colors are in here. We are going to do a traveling tree ring. And I put a lot of black, white, and silver in the middle and the end, but it had all these colors in the beginning. Now this is only a nine ounce cup, so this is not enough paint. <laughs> You're in SoCal, Angie? That's awesome. Pensacola, we're in Texas. Uh, in Texas, I have a studio that I can use at any point in time, and that's in Seguin. So definitely that area. Although maybe also at some point in Dallas, you know, who knows? It's definitely easiest to go where there are already like studios that I can use. Okay, I'm just layering colors a little bit more into this cup because I need some more paint. 
and that's a lot of green. <laughs> nice and darker green. Yeah, drop it on the Massey boys, definitely. When I go to Texas next, absolutely. I will actually definitely at least stop in Dallas. I don't know that I'll be teaching a class in Dallas, but I'll at least stop in Dallas. A lot of friends there too. Live in Kyle, which is close to Seguin. Awesome. There you go. Okay. All right, so we're going to get a little more darkness over here. I'm going to just kind of meet in the middle. That'll be interesting. I'm definitely not going for a tornado look, but the look I am going for, so I don't actually need as much paint to cover this canvas as normal. I kind of just remembered. I'm going to be doing kind of a super tilt. Tell me just not that I can hear you, but if at any point you guys just totally can't see the canvas, just scream at me through the computer and I will do my best because I can't see anything. Oh, I'm going to try refreshing one more time. Maybe that'll help. Mm, nope. <laughs> That's a negative. All right. I am not super happy with all this green over here, but that's okay. I think I'll probably end up running that off because this is more what I was going for. Have you guys been watching um, the bottle bottom ones that I've been doing that kind of series? I think it's so fun. Yeah, these are some great colors. <laughs> really big air bubble here. There we go. Okay. That is actually really pretty. Not even remotely what I was going for, because I'm pretty sure that's not at all the technique I used <laughs> in the original painting in my head, but yeah. <laughs> that looks so cool. No, I'm not, Jane. Gail, I'm not entirely sure what your question is. Can you rephrase maybe? Let me go ahead. I'm going to come around and show you guys a close up and then we're going to do one more with a different technique. Similar colors, definitely less green and I'm out of a lot of colors. So it'll probably mostly be white and black and silver, I guess, which is what I was going for anyways. I just thought it would be fun to add a pop of color in there. <laughs> it's so crooked. Okay. Is Veronica here? Charming Giraffe? I kind of wish I didn't have that circle from that really big bubble, but that's okay. All right, it's going to shake for just a second. Oh, Veronica, I thought you were here. Um, yeah, so I don't tape them. I paint them afterwards generally with spray paint. Um, so for those who are tuning in a little bit later, I just wanted to let you know an announcement I made at the beginning, which is um, that my album, it officially comes out on Friday and you can get it on Amazon and, um, you know, iTunes, all those things, all the official sites on Friday. Well, you can pre- pre-buy it now but that's when it will be released but if you're impatient like me you can get it tonight on Bandcamp you can get it right now so thank you Veronica <laughs> that giraffe is so charming 
I always love when people watch my live videos later and they're like, what an annoying video. There was so much chit chat. I'm like, yeah, that's literally the whole point. All right, camera's going back. Okay. And this is also not my normal tripod. I don't know where my tripod went. Okay. It's been a crazy few weeks, like I said. So let me move this guy to safety. I think I might just move it over here because my drying rack is actually full. I've been doing so much painting the last few days. It's actually really awesome. Okay. Pretty. All right. So go ahead. I'm going to do another one of the same size. So give me a second to check the video. Make sure it's, you guys can see everything. Because for whatever reason, YouTube is being mean. Um, I, when I, I spray the back of the canvas just when it's dry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Did I have gloves on in that last one? I must have. My hands are so clean. Okay. <laughs> um, I actually just have a shelf, a big shelf that's very, very level. And I uh, have it lined with parchment paper. And then I just line up my paintings on there and put these under there. But then I also have a baking rack. So once the paintings are dry enough that they're not going to move around, usually the next day, but not dry enough to be like, you know, touched or manhandled really. I'll put them on the baking rack. I just haven't figured out a way to get my baking rack perfectly level, especially since the floor in my garage is completely not level. So it's, I'll get there. Hey Pam. Hey Corrine. All right. We are going to go ahead and do a puddle pour. Let's see. Hopefully I have enough white. I think so. Actually, I um, might have to supplement with some other colors. Don't worry, this isn't the last of my white. I have several bottles. I just was hoping there was more in that bottle. <laughs> okay. Definitely going to supplement with some of this Pacific Blue. Let's do silver. I'm not going to do these puddles all the same. And if I don't have enough black, white, and silver, oh well. I'll just add other colors. That's okay too. Let's go ahead and drain this guy over here in the corner. All right. Hey, Deborah. Um, so I have a big thing I've found is that a lot of people don't actually use enough paint for their canvas size. I have seen a lot of incorrect calculators go around and people have a hard time getting their canvas covered because they really just don't use enough paint. So hopefully I don't run into that tonight because I'm definitely don't have enough of the colors that I want. And I've done a lot of painting today. I might have to just go ahead and just bite the bullet and throw in some crazy colors in here. Yeah. Yep, that's what's going to happen. That's okay. Here we go. We're just going to do all the colors, okay? <laughs> all the colors. So yeah, I use about one ounce for every 16 square inches. Okay, Deborah, yeah, you need to watch one of my videos on paint mixing. <laughs> Sounds like. Because you definitely cannot just pour regular acrylic paint. It won't move around. At least not how you want. And it'll take you a long time to get the canvas covered. Let's get in here with some yellow. Let's be wild. I 
and I'm trying not to do them all the same. I definitely want to mix it up. This is going to be one of those ones that's going to start out looking fairly not great. <laughs> but then as, as I tilt, hopefully we get the look that I'm going for. <laughs> no worries, Deborah. Okay, so if anyone saw my uh, four-year anniversary video, oh my gosh, I still remember the first acrylic pour that I did. It was actually ridiculous. Like, I totally was like, oh, I can do that. That's so easy. No problem. Just grab some paint and then just add a bunch of water and it will be, you know, it'll flow. And then who needs that silicone stuff? I just use some of this olive oil. Why not? Who else did that? Okay, am I, please tell me I'm not the only one that, that thought they could just totally throw olive oil into their painting and it would be fine. I didn't even throw it into the painting. That's the funny thing. I just put it on top and thought that would work out. <laughs> right? Like, please tell me I'm not the only one that did that. No, just me. <laughs> right? Olive oil. Who does that? This girl. Okay. What else have I got? Oh, I have a little bronze. Ooh. A little rose gold. Um, I do have some videos on puddle pours. I've got one that I did with Melly D, which was black, white, and yellow. So actually, <laughs> somewhat similar to this. But this, I'm going to do, I think this is actually enough paint. It's not enough paint under normal circumstances. But I am going to go ahead and super tilt. And right now, I'm not too stressed about these colors. I'm not going for like the most gorgeous painting color-wise. I really want to get a specific look on the painting. So that's what I'm hoping for. I am just used completely random colors here that, you know, you never know. You could be totally surprised. I don't think I will be surprised. I think I'll be like, yeah, those colors, not, not good together. But don't you worry. There's always room for redemption. Okay. I am going to now, I think, super tilt it in this direction. So I'm just going to hold it here for a minute. Feel free to ask questions at this stage. <laughs> hey, Jackie. Welcome. All right, Brandy said, one more question. Should I paint the shade with gesso? Oh, I missed one earlier, I don't think. Hmm. Okay, I'm calling it. I'm calling it a failure. This is not only a horrendous color combination, it's not the look I was going for either. So, don't you worry. Don't you worry. First of all, this is parchment paper under here. <laughs> so, so, don't you worry. We can use all of this paint that's a runoff. It's going to be awesome skins. And I actually really need skins right now for a certain project. Tilt up and down. Okay. I will take the challenge. <laughs> this is how to not do a puddle pour. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it was already planned on it being a background. I just was hoping for a specific look with the background. Put a marble on it. I think it's a little late for that, isn't it? I could put a marble on it and pour some more paint over it. Dutch pour. That's an idea. These colors right here look... Oh, can you even see that? I don't even know. These colors up here at the top look fantastic. 
I think I definitely went wrong with the rose gold. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this green here too, again. <laughs> Throw every technique at it. You would swipe it. Okay, okay. What to do, what to do. I actually think a swipe is not a bad idea. There is a lot of the rose gold is kind of a crazy cell creator. So that might actually work because there's a lot of rose gold up here. We're going to try that. <laughs> uh, okay. So, Sarah, you're being a little bit critical. This is all just fun and experimentation. Okay. That's what I use these videos for. And also, I don't mind on my channel doing things wrong. I prefer that you guys can see what I do wrong so that hopefully you guys cannot copy it. <laughs> or copy it if you want. Swipe with black from the middle. Oh no, it's too late. It's too late. I gotta swipe from the end now. But that was a good idea too. Swipe or no swiping. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna count on this rose gold to be my cell activator here or my cell creator. I hope. If anything, it will look better than how it looked. That is a guarantee. Ooh, that's actually pretty. A swipe is just when you're pulling that across, across the, you're, you're pulling a paint color across the rest. Okay, so I didn't get cells, but I actually think this is gorgeous. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I actually am going to completely leave this. This will be a background, but I actually love this. You guys know me, I love lines. So, complete fail on, <laughs> on the puddle pour. Yeah, I know, right? Look, look marbled. You know, you just keep going with it sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and torch, because why not? Oh, nope. That's a negative. I'm not going to go ahead and torch, because I have... Oh, no, okay. <laughs> I resined my torch shut. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go, I got it. This is my big girl torch. There are actually some pretty uh, rose gold cells coming up through here. I'll, get, I'll bring you guys in for a close up. I think this is an awesome, awesome painting though. So from absolutely horrendous <laughs> to quite cool. Turn it for you. I know. How many torches have I risen shut? Like a bazillion. And heat guns too. I finally got smart and covered the heat gun with uh, plastic wrap. Okay, it's gonna shake for just a second. Ah! Sorry guys. Go as smoothly as I can. And oh my goodness, oh, like look at these skins that are gonna be there. So awesome. Okay, so you can actually see these rose gold cells coming up. So I think if this sits here for a bit, it will actually have probably more cells, but I like just the little the little pop there. And this side, although from afar, it probably just looks like rose gold. There's actually quite a few layers in there. It's got some decent depth. So I'm not sure which direction I would use it in. It's maybe one of those awesome up and down ones that I add a tree to. Yeah, I can't wait to see it dry either. So like I can definitely imagine this up and down. Which direction do you guys think? This is what's kind of speaking to me, this direction. 
<laughs> hey, Linda. Yeah, I think so, too. Anyways, all fun. Looks like rain. Oh, totally. Oh, my goodness. What the heck with this tripod? I'm sorry, you guys. This this evening is kind of a hot mess. Okay. <laughs> I give up. That's as good as it gets. Oh, okay. It feels like I have days that, like, everything goes right until I go live, and then all of a sudden, I cannot function. I just drop everything and spill everything, and my tripod is not working. <laughs> Add trees to the bottom. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm kind of thinking this... Like, I'd probably put a bit of a ground right here to cover up this. I don't like, like, just this one spot. So I'd probably cover up a bit with some ground and then a tree. And then this is, like, I don't know, me every day, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, well, I appreciate you guys putting up with me. <laughs> and to everyone who watches this on replay later, well... You have the luxury of the fast forward button, you know, mountains, maybe, maybe that's possible. Ooh, like a Northern lights kind of situation that could work. I know that's right. It is Northern lights, esque, especially with that lime green in there. Okay. I will have to rethink this. How I do my embellishments, you guys, is I generally, I will leave the painting there, even if it's for a year. <laughs> I will leave it there until something just kind of screams at me like, oh, this is what needs to go there. You know what I mean? I don't know how else other people do it, but that's what I do. I usually don't try to force it. It's not like I only have one painting to embellish. I have quite a few that I can work on. So I let them sit until I get, you know, crazy inspiration pretty much. <laughs> okay well thank you guys so much for joining me and thank you for putting up with me and my shenanigans and my messed up tripod and messed up puddle pour and uh, stay tuned next week for an art auction I promise it'll be less messy and a little more organized <laughs> and then I will see oh so don't forget to check out the album I'll put all this in the description I promise like right after this check out the album also tons of new class kits up on the website you guys so uh, we're gonna have beach rocks coming up uh coasters with resin uh, like acrylic pour sealed with resin we've got a vase one coming up for fourth of july so lots of really fun things on the website mixedmediagirl.com super easy right mixedmediagirl.com <laughs> yeah See you Saturday for the color mixing class. And you guys can always join any of the Facebook classes with your own supplies. You don't have to buy a kit. I just think it's fun when we all have the same kit. But all right. Have a fantastic rest of your week. See ya.